don't mind the capia, uh, but uh, we're looking at circles today, and uh, we're just going to get right into some examples. So, uh, the center of a circle is O, and we're supposed to find the, the angle there, X. Um, this, the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, is called a radius. So, like, if I drew any radius, they're all the same length, which means that is congruent to that. So this is an isosceles triangle, which means these angles are congruent. So this is also x. And it makes a triangle, so if I want to figure out what x is, I can just say 120 plus x plus x, which is 2x, that has to equal 180. And then subtract off 120. And there we go. We get, this is 60. This is 60. Uh, so 2x equals 60 divided by 2. x must be 30 degrees. That's an easy one. That's, that's no problem. That's no problem. That's no problem. In this next problem... Oh, wait. I should... <laughs> who That's O. This is O. Uh, B... A, C. So, for circles, you have measures of angles uh, on the inside. So here, that's 110 degrees. But you can also measure the arc. So, arc A, C is also, by definition of how to measure an arc, it's just the same angle uh, from the center of the circle. The measure of angle, uh, or sorry, arc A, C is 110 degrees. It's the same as that. There's a theorem that says um, that this angle, if you make an inscribed angle in a circle, then, so like this is an inscribed angle, which means it fits exactly in the circle. It's on the edge of the circle and goes out uh, and touches the other edges of the circle. If you make an inscribed uh, angle in a circle, then it's exactly half of the... Um, half of the measure of the intercepting arc. So this is the arc, and we just said that that was 110 degrees. So angle B, and I think this is really neat, uh, angle B is going to be half of this. So the measure of angle B is going to be 55 degrees. There's a theorem that says that. And I'm going to try and give you like a little, not a, not a proof, but an argument. Watch. If I draw a circle, and I have that at the center. I'm going to try and uh, uh, draw a 90 degree angle. It's close. And I'm going to pick points uh, right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. And I'm going to draw an intercept, an inscribed angle. And I'm going to show you that they look to be all the same size. Like no matter where this point is, this angle is going to be the same size if it's intersecting there and there. It's intersecting this arc. Uh, or in, like, so this arc measures uh, hopefully 90 degrees or close to it. So that means this arc is 90 degrees. And watch this. So I'm going to draw the first uh, inscribed angle and show you that it's going to be half. It's going to look hopefully like 45 degrees. And 45 degrees would be something uh, that looks like this. So we'll see. That's going to be my, uh, I don't know, my, my angle to compare it to. It'll be something like that. Amazing. That looks very, very similar. This angle looks to be the same as that angle. So that's in that first spot. So I'm going to erase this. So number one, it checks out. It looks kind of like it's 45 degrees. This is not a proof. It's just an argument. Now I'm going to draw this one and show you that it looks the same. Is that comparable the size of this angle and that angle yeah I mean they don't look crazy different but I drew the the point in a different spot and it's gonna happen every time so let's do let's do another one look at this it's amazing the, even there it looks looks like this angle hopefully I mean you can see that it's the same size no matter where you draw it uh, so the theorem says that the inscribed angle is half of the arc that it intercepts so let's let's just skip to this one. This one's the weird one, but look at that! Look at that! It's look at the same. Look at the same. So uh, hopefully you believe that theorem. Um, it, it's just if you have 
an arc, you find out the measure of the arc by finding the angle uh, from the center. And then the inscribed angle is half of the measure of the arc. So that's example two. And I'm going to be done with this video. We're going to continue on later.